वेलकम टू द पी सी एस करेंट न्यूज़ प्रोग्राम द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हरिकेन हेलन ट्रिगर्ड ग्रेविटी वेट्स एज हरिकेन हेलन मेड लैंडफॉल ऑन फ्लोरिडाज गल्फ कोस्ट ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इट नॉट ओनली ब्रॉड डेवेस्टेटिंग स्टॉम सर्जेस एंड वाइड स्प्रेड डिस्ट्रक्शन बट ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड मैसिव रिपल्स इन द अपर एटमोसफियर नासाज एटमोसफेरिक वेव्स एक्सपेरिमेंट माउंटेड ऑन द इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन कैप्चर दीज इनॉर्मस एटमोसफेरिक स्वेल्स नोन एज ग्रेविटी वेव्स approximately 55 miles above the ground the awe instrument launched in november 2023 detected concentric bands of atmospheric gravity waves extending westward from florida's northwest coast let's now talk about gravity waves atmospheric gravity waves are ripple like patterns in the air generated by various atmospheric disturbances including violent storms tornadoes tsunamis and hurricanes The AWE instrument detects these waves by observing brightness fluctuations in the air glow, colorful bands of light in Earth's mesosphere. This groundbreaking observation provides valuable insights into the relationship between terrestrial weather and space weather. Understanding how events like Hurricane Helen affect the upper atmosphere can help scientists better predict and mitigate potential disruptions to satellites, communication signals, and other technologies. The images from Hurricane Helen are among the first publicly released by the AWE project, demonstrating the instrument's sensitivity in revealing the impacts of hurricanes on Earth's upper atmosphere. This data will contribute to NASA's ongoing research on how our space environment can be affected by events occurring on Earth's surface. Now it's time for the practice question: Which of the following tropical cyclones recently triggered gravity waves? Hurricane Beryl, Hurricane Debbie, Hurricane Rafael, or Hurricane Helen? send the answer to this question in the comment section thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications